Hello, so just a very very quick video today on this um, little Tomy Pac-Man game that I've bought. So I think it's an um, early 80s uh, model with the vacuum fluorescent display in it. And it seems to work very well, but what it is, is it's a little bit scuffed up. It's absolutely filthy as well, so I'm going to strip it down and clean it out and have a little poke around inside and see what makes it tick. Right, that should be all the screws out of it. Ah. Yeah, a few dust bunnies in there. Yeah, and there's the um, vacuum display tube. Nude. Be very careful with that, it's probably very fragile. So, let's take the keys out. So what have we got there? And D double five three C one sixty, which is the brains of the operation, I presume. If you're interested, tube itself probably a very fragile thing. I have to be very careful with that. There are some electrolytics in there as well. I think I'll swap those out while I'm in here. I might as well. I'd hate for this thing to fail on me. Just down to something like that. And then I can go ahead and clean the thing out. And from that point onwards, I know any dirt in it is my own, and I can handle that a bit better. Right, I'll get the soldier and iron fired up and change out those caps. Okay, so I've separated the innards from the case. I'm going to give it a bit of a clean up. I'm certainly going to clean up the case because it's absolutely disgusting. I'll change the capacitors on it because I would hate for this thing to fail due to a bad cap and while I've got it apart, I might as well. But there it is. And that's what the vacuum tube looks like close up. Quite a neat little thing, and you don't tend to see those anymore. So, I'm going to go ahead, fire up my solder and iron, get these caps swapped out, get the case clean, get it back together, and then we'll have a little demonstration.
And we're done. All the capacitors have been replaced, so hopefully that should be good for a few more years. I just want to go over this with uh, an anti-static brush and some alcohol because the back of the board is actually quite dirty. And you probably won't see it on the camera, but there is a great big fingerprint right there as well. And if I can gently remove that without causing any damage, I'm going to try and do that with the alcohol. And I think it's unlikely that anybody's been in this before me, so that fingerprint's probably been there for years. Anyway, it's going. Um, let's start with the rather disgusting board at the front. My fingerprint. Nah, didn't need much. I want to turn my attention to the case itself now, and it's got a lot of little, very light scratches in it, which you can't really see until the system lights up and then they become very, very visible and it does detract from the gameplay itself. So, I've got a damp cloth and I've got this stuff, which is actually for, um, it's actually for removing scratches out of car paint, but I find it works really well on plastic. So I'm gonna give that a little go. Just see if I can take some of those scratches out. Already that's looking a lot better. So I'm going to spend a little bit more time with this cleaner uh, and then I'm going to wash the case 
and then when that's all dry I can put it all back together. Well, I suppose I should start putting the thing back together. Speaker in first. Right, we're all back together, so only one thing to do, power it on, make sure it all still works, and I'll take you through it. Well, all the buttons are still working, so that's something. One quirk with it, well, a couple of quirks with it, really. Pac-Man... He can move backwards and forwards, left and right, but he will always face the same direction. And he can't pick a pellet up unless it's in front of him, not behind him. So if I try to grab that one, no. Got to go past it and then forward again. Also, because of the way the display works, the Pac-Man and the Ghost... Yeah, as you can see there, they can't occupy the same space as they would. Other than that... Well, yeah, it's Pac-Man. And I'm terrible at it. But in my defence, I'm playing around the camera, so... Ah. So anyway, that's that. Uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I um, hope you found that of some interest. And um, I'll catch you again. <laughs>